What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So I'm pretty excited about this one to be honest because it's gonna help a lot of you guys out I think. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions, especially recently, coming into the new year about whether drop shipping is a good way to go, print on demand or Amazon FBA. So what I thought I would do then, now that I've been drop shipping for over two years, I thought I'd do a video like this that knowing what I know now, if I had to start from the very beginning, so go all the way back to day one, then would I still do things the same way? Would I still use drop shipping? Um, what sort of things would I do differently then? So today then in this video, we're gonna be covering all those sorts of things and I'm gonna be showing you a business model that you've probably seen before, but I'm gonna be showing you how to start this business then all the way from the start to the finish so how much money you actually need to start this business model where to get your products from and then how to advertise them as well so that being said then guys that's the topic thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the video and let's get straight into it what is going on then guys, welcome to my computer. So let's not waste any time then and jump straight into it. So the first thing I wanna show you then, or a kind of point I wanna make that the easiest way to be successful then with any business is to find somebody who's already doing it well and then pretty much replicate what they're doing. So if you've not seen it before, this is kind of like Shopify's marketplace where people can sell their Shopify stores. Um, anybody can use it and you can pretty much, so this is like the main page and you can search by like whether they're drop shipping, print on demand, retail stores, what industry they're in. And it's a great way then to find stores that are doing really well, go to their site, see what their site looks like, see what their best sellers are, what products they're selling. And the stores I wanna show you today then because they've been absolutely killing it and they kind of illustrate the point that I wanna make in this video and that is that print on demand is such a good business model, especially for beginners because it's really cheap to get started, it's really quick to get started, it's probably one of the easiest products you can market and in terms of scalability as well, um, then it's just absolutely huge. So to illustrate my point then, I found a couple of stores just to show you guys. The first one I show you is Cole and Coddle. Um, and their asking price is up here in the top right, so nearly half a million dollars. The average monthly profit is $25,000. And if, just to prove it to you, if we go down to not expenses, but actually sales, these are all verified from Shopify themselves, so they can't be edited. And as you can see, this store has done nearly three and a half million in revenue. And going back to that point then, I wanted to make about scalability. You can see this is where the store started. So nothing in September, nothing in November, October, January, but then first month, six and a half grand, second month, nearly 50 grand, third month, nearly 60 grand, and then in the fourth month, they did $650,000. So you can see just how quickly and how crazily print-on-demand stores are um, scalable. Um, for a number of reasons, really. One of the things I really like, in fact, the main reason, is it comes down to delivery. When everybody, some, whenever somebody mentions dropshipping, everybody thinks, oh, no one's gonna wait four weeks for a product. But when it comes down to print-on-demand, you completely eliminate that problem because you can find suppliers or printers in America, in the UK, that can ship to your customers in the space of a few days. Now, just one quick note, in fact, uh, to be wary of when you're looking at stores is always check the traffic against revenue because if the traffic is really small and the revenue is really high, then it can be signs of a fraudulent store. But as you can see, they've had over 2 million visits. Again, comes directly from Shopify. So. This is a legit store, and I've, I've read through all this, so I don't have to go through it with you guys in the video, but these guys, that was all generated through um, Facebook ads, as you can see, so uh, Facebook advertising it also mentions it up here as well. So you can see they're using the exact same marketing strategies that I talk about on this video, um, and all they're doing then is using these simple designs, and what I've done is, if you, going back to this main page, if you look through some of these, especially some of the higher, uh, some of the stores that turn over the higher amounts, then they'll be classed as private listings, which means like these ones here, and they'll be hiding their store URL so nobody can see the products they're selling. But if you keep scrolling through, you'll be able to find some where they actually give away their URLs. So this is their store then basically. And as you can see, the store itself actually looks very, very basic. Um, a lot of people overcomplicate things when it comes to store design, but as you can, just looking at this, it's really basic. Anybody can put a store like this together, um, probably within an hour or two. Um, and these are the products then. If I just use this tool up here called Commerce Inspector, click best selling, and it's gonna take us straight to their best selling products. And as you can see, it's all print on demand products. So these are things, and the designs as well, because the designs are just words, you can't trademark words or common words like this. So in terms of coming up with your own design, 
designs, then it's a really easy thing to do. And since we've got their best sellers as well, we can simply just go ahead, screenshot these, send them to a designer, which I'm gonna get into later on fiverr.com. And then we've got our own designs that we can go and start selling. And we know that these products sell well on Facebook as well. And the reason products like this then absolutely kill it on Facebook is because they're social products. They're products that people that spark an emotion in your audience. And that is 100% the ideal product for Facebook. You want products then that people want to engage with and share with their friends. And these are the sort of products then that will go viral because they make people laugh. And when people laugh at something, they wanna share it with someone so they can make them laugh as well. It's a, they're social products. So products like these will probably make you smile. So copy and paste, obviously it's a lot of father and son stuff. So I've created a monster and then his son has got the what the t-shirt that wears the monster. They're just fun and quirky products that people can relate to. And when it comes to marketing these on Facebook as well, it lends themselves to a specific market. On Facebook, you can target parents with children of a certain age. Um, so straight away, you've got your market, you've got your product, you've got your store, and you once you've got your designs, then you're just ready to go. Everything pretty much is just laid out in front of you, which we're gonna get into in this video. Another thing as well of why these work so well on Facebook is if you look at the images, there's faces in them and there's people smiling. In pretty much every single one of these, there's somebody smiling. And that's the best way to advertise any product. In fact, I was talking to someone recently on a call and we were talking about the best way to advertise products and hands down, the best way to advertise anything is to show somebody using your product or wearing your product smiling because that's what catches attention. Just quickly then moving on to the second store. So here's another one. If we just go down to performance, um, you can see these guys have done way over a million. Um, it only goes back to June 2016 where they did $2,000 in their first month, then 60,000. This one's a bit sporadic, but as you can see, even on their lower months, like they're still pushing five th figures a month and the traffic tallies up as well. So again, you know it's a legit store. Um, and just have a look at their store. Now they've put a bit more work into their store, but as you can see, it's pretty basic. Um, if we use Commerce Inspector, it should tell us the theme as well. Um, symmetry testing by clean. So I don't think it's a standard one, um, but this one here, uh, what's it called again? Coal and Cuddle. This is easily replicatable um, and definitely something you could create with a free theme as well. Um, but as you can see, going back to the products themselves, again, dead simple. I was daddy's fastest swimmer. Um, both of these stores actually targeted around kind of like parents, newborn parents. Um, and that kind of niche. And if we just check out the best selling products then for this store as well, um, it's gonna give us ideas of the kind of products we can sell in their store. As you can see, they did nearly 2 million in revenue. These are the best sellers. So we know straight away these products sell. Um, now, these aren't as standout-ish and aren't what I call passion products or social media products as much um, as this store here. So what I've done then is on this Google document where I'm gonna go through the profitability and go through the numbers with you guys, just so you can see how profitable, profitable you can be with um, print on demand. Um, I've based it on this store here and their best selling product. But before we get into that, then you're probably thinking, how do we actually come up with designs? If you don't wanna create them yourself, I mean, you can create something as simple as that, uh, just using any kind of in fact, you can use canva.com to create something simple like that. Um, but in case you wanna go through a professional designer, put your own twist on it maybe, uh, perhaps include some sort of image, then what you can do is simply screenshot that, head over to Fiverr, um, and all I've done then is search t-shirt designer and it's given me all these different ones. And as you can see, the kind of average price is around about eight pounds. So when I've done my numbers in this document here, then that's what I've based it on. Another thing to quickly show you then before we actually get into the numbers, um, is the prices which I've put into here. So I do want to prove it to you. When I go through any sort of numbers, I don't just like to use fluff. I do actually want to prove it to you guys. This is why it costs and this is the actual potential. So that being said, then how profitable, or how much money do you actually need to start this business? So startup cost, start cost wise then, you need a Shopify plan. Um, now, if you're clever about it and you have everything planned out, all your designs and everything, you start advertising from day one, then you then you won't have to pay these costs because most of the apps you need, you'll get a free trial on. And it's the same with Shopify as well. When you sign up, you will get a free two week trial. But just in case you don't then, this is worst case scenario, $29 for the basic Shopify plan, um, $50 for apps, designs, 
you need, I wouldn't just get one design, I would go for say 10 just to kind of bulk out your store a bit more and I've based it on $10 a design and if we go back to Fiverr you can see you could probably get them a bit cheaper than that especially if you said to one particular designer I want 10 designs it might give you a discount but I like to work on worst case scenarios uh, so you're looking at about $100 then for your designs and then what I've done is I've based it on Printify just because these guys have printers in the UK and in America and in Canada as well so whether you're selling in those big three countries or not you're going to be able to find a supplier that will ship it locally to your customer uh, within a few days so all in all then you're looking at $208 now that's including the premium uh, plan with Printify which I recommend you get now I'm not affiliated any means so I'm not recommending them for uh, for my own benefit um, you'll see in a minute that when you look at the costs they give two costs they give if you're on the free plan you pay this more expensive one here so you'd pay nine dollars fifty one for a kid's bodysuit but if you're on the premium plan you'll pay seven thirty two and I've done the maths here so you're saving approximately four dollars per order on the premium plan so you'd only need eight orders a month um, to pretty much make it worth your time or worth your money essentially so what I've done then is I've based all of these prices and the products on what these guys are doing here because if they're doing it then the products are so simple there's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't be able to sell those same products at the same prices so starting from the top then where are we we're looking at the kids bodysuit so as you can see they've combined two products into one here you're obviously getting the kids bodysuit and you're getting the top uh, for the dad as well so we've got two prices we've got the kids bodysuit we've got the adult t-shirt and just to show you guys then the kids bodysuit is either $9.51 or $7.32 and the adult t-shirt then is $7.73 or $5.95 and just to show you the prices on here we can see the kids the adult t-shirt here if we were to go for the cheapest one obviously uh, you've got $7.73 or $5.95 and if we go to the kids one um, if we scroll down now to me these look exactly the same if you just have a look at like the shoulders on these how they overlap and if we go back to here you can see they kind of overlap there as well see if we can get a better picture so I wouldn't be surprised if these guys are actually using Printify themselves so we're pretty much sourcing the exact same products um, so just go to go back to the price shipping is either six dollars or four dollars um, I believe it was six dollars to outside of the UK then four dollars inside the UK and both were five to seven days as well because you've got to allow a couple of times for processing and then depending on whether you go for a faster or slower shipping method you're looking at somewhere between five and seven days um, which just like I mentioned earlier in the video just completely eliminates that up to four weeks so in terms of putting people off because of delivery um, it's not a problem you're gonna have to worry about so to do some quick maths then total product cost adding all these up together is either $22.24 or $18.27. Now the pro the most expensive price on the left is if you use the free plan and the price on the right is if you use the premium plan and as it says there you're saving about $4 per order ordering two of these products together. So if you do go for the premium plan you'll only need $8 a month and you'll make that $29 back. So we've got our total product cost then what is the sale price so what can we actually sell this product for? These guys as you can see are selling it for $40 which isn't cheap but people are obviously paying it if they've done over 3 million in revenue. So a sale price is $40 so depending on whether you go for the more expensive or cheaper one I've just kind of gone straight down the middle to give an approximate number. You're looking at approximately $20 profit per order my minus your Facebook um, cost per action or your cost per purchase. So as long as you get cost per purchase of less than $20, which is quite manageable, should be achievable, especially on viral products like this. Products like this, if you put them in front of the right, audi in front of the right audience, then people are gonna share this like rapid fire. Um, and if you go viral, then just the limits are pretty much unlimited um, and that's pretty much the whole video then start to finish I've covered I think just about everything now we have gone through quite a lot of numbers so if I've confused you a bit then feel free go further back in the video watch it again or leave a comment down below um, I do get back to every single person um, and if you're still watching then hopefully you've enjoyed the video as well let me know what you guys think about print on demand do you think it's a good business model or not um, and that being said then guys thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one